The Foreign Minister of Ireland, Iceland, Guadalajara Thor, has said that India is a superpower to reckon with. The speaking exclusively to Vyond Siddharth Sibyl, the Foreign Minister said that India and Iceland share many similarities and India should play a large role in the Arctic region. Well, Iceland is a country which is in northern Atlantic Ocean, part of Europe and country is known for its beautiful locales, for renewable energy and also for hosting the oldest parliament in the world. In recent years, India and Iceland have been engaging with each other despite the distance and contrast in population size. With me is the Foreign Minister of Iceland who is currently on an India visit. So welcome to Beyond. My first question is, what is the focus of your India visit? Well, the focus is very clear. We want to strengthen the ties between Iceland and India. And uh, it's obvious that we are very different. You are very big and populated and uh, you're a superpower in every, every way. Uh, on the international level, we, uh, which, so we are very small, uh, and, uh, but we share many, many similarities. You mentioned the parliament. We have the oldest parliament. We share the same values when it comes to democratic values. And it's extremely important, especially now. And the relations between Iceland and India has always been good. We have uh, embassies on, on both in, in New Delhi and, and, and Reykjavik. But uh, we need to strengthen it. And there is a lot of opportunities uh, when it comes to uh, all kinds of cooperations. You mentioned the climate, renewable energy. We could ma uh, mention also uh, fisheries, of course, tourism and uh, cultural ties. So that's the main aim. I think geothermal is something that both the countries are looking forward to because your country um, perhaps uh, practically runs on renewable energy. So how can Iceland share this technology or maybe resources when it comes to ge uh, geothermal energy? Because we know India is not only one of the fastest growing economy, but it needs energy, energy that doesn't impact the climate. Exactly. Uh, we have a long tradition. We have uh, for a very long time, and it was not because of climate, it's because we didn't have that much money, so we couldn't buy coal and fossil fuel. So we used the renew renewable energy in Iceland, both for heating housing and also uh, making electricity. It's carbon free, it's reliable, mm -hmm. and if you go to Iceland, you will not see any pollution when it comes to the, the cities from uh, heating of the houses and, and, and so on. There are endless opportunities here in, in India. We have shared this uh, knowledge to other countries. For example, in China, we have the largest geothermal heating uh, system in China, which is built between uh, Iceland and, and Chinese uh, firms. We have it in, in Africa and many other countries. Uh, so uh, India is a place that we can work together on this important field. So how do you see India's policies uh, towards the Nordics and, of course, Iceland? India, of course, has been doing a lot on climate change. Uh, we know the Paris Accord is something that everyone has been speaking about. Uh, how do you see India's role on the issue of climate change? India has its own policy also, which a lot of countries are participating in the International Solar Alliance. How can Iceland play an important and key role in the International Solar Alliance? Well, we are not going to do anything when it comes to climate without India. Mm -hmm. India is just so large. Mm -hmm. We, of course, are very, um, uh, very, we are very enthusiastic when it comes to uh, the climate change. We have our own agenda in Iceland, which is, uh, I think that uh, we could say in every part, it's just, uh, uh, we are trying to do our best. Mm -hmm. And uh, we will see uh, carbon-free Iceland in 2040, mm -hmm. uh, <coughs> or, or uh, carbon uh, neutralized. But uh, the thing is that uh, we need the big players. And India is one of the biggest players. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, this is something that we need to work together on. And as we mentioned earlier, then we have some knowledge to share. And uh, I'm sure that we can have a very fruitful and important cooperation, not, which is not only important for uh, uh, Iceland and, and India, it's uh, important for the whole world. Well, thank you so much for that extensive interview on various topics, whether it's India, Iceland ties, whether your suggestions uh, to Europe or whether it's fighting terror. Well, thank you so much. And of course, uh, we hope uh, India and uh, Iceland sign that free trade uh, deal very soon. That will be beneficial for both the countries who are, despite their distances, coming closer for, of course, betterment of both India and Iceland.